Hello Aquarius and welcome to your November 2020 future love reading. This is for Aquarius. Aquarius, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Aquarius. This is for you. We are going to see what's going on with your future love. This is for Aquarius. What is going on with their future love? What is going on? All right. So give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Right? So I feel like this is somebody coming in for a second chance wanting to work on things of course we are in mercury retrograde um love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so you've withdraw oops you've withdrawn your energy from this person and you're standing your ground here which makes them desire you more okay because they feel that resistance so they want to chase all right, this person likes to chase and they want to see if they can catch you again. All right, so let's see what is going on here. This is for Aquarius. What is going on with their future love? If this resonates with you, Aquarius, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment please make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me i would greatly appreciate it if this does not resonate with you at all aquarius please do check your moon your rising and your venus sign as this will not resonate with every aquarius out there Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Aquarius. What is going on with their, their future love? Okay. All right. So there was an ending here. You walked away from them. You have moved away from them. They don't like that. Okay. So inconsistencies. Okay, so, all right, I see what's going on here. So there was some jealousy involved, maybe some competition involved um, for some of you, not all of you, but bottom line here, whatever was going on, whatever the issues were between the two of you, it caused a lot of fighting. It caused a lot of drama, right? Um, arguing, uh, sometimes over nothing. And it just, it, it became a toxic situation here. All right, so five of wands, this is fire energy. Um, I feel jealousy. So this sends you on a completely different path here, Aquarius, right? You had a decision to make and they know that you kind of took control of the situation and uh, the balls in your court, right? So you made the decision to... Um, move along you made a decision to go a different path away from this person so two of wands more fire energy here there were secrets involved here right um a lot of things hidden that may have come to light and caused a lot of this drama you could be dealing with a pisces or somebody with strong pisces in their chart but I just feel like, you know, a lot of things are hidden. This person wasn't consistent. This person was a very unsettled soul, and they are aware of that. So um, I'm going to say this. Um, they thought they could play you, but they played the wrong person. So now they got to shift. Now they got to change tactics here, okay? Um, and they have to come to you in a very uh, correct, sincere way. Or you will not pay attention to this person. You're very resistant to this individual. 
So the moon card here, all these hidden things, all this hidden emotion. Um, you got a lot of anger here still, I feel, towards this person. It's a very strong connection that you share with this person. Um, you thought it would be more, more balanced than what it would. This person's coming back around to balance this situation. I feel like they've had sort of a little bit of a wake-up call here. Like you are not a pushover. You're not going to put up with certain types of behavior. You're going to stand strong and they have to come to you in a very balanced way. They feel this soul connection to you here, Aquarius. They want to get back on track. They're going to try to balance this situation, but they know they have to make a huge shift in their behavior. So two of cups here, um, they want you back, bottom line. They can't shake the connection, right? They can't shake it. So, All right, Aquarius. Um, I'm going to read the energies of the cards here. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with, have dealt with, will be dealing with in the future, right? Um, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluent. Cross watchers, keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. It's a general reading. So you assign the roles as you wish. So ending here, possibly a betrayal. Uh, for some of you, um, maybe there was some cheating going on. That's very possible with this card and this card and somebody having to make a decision and things hidden, you know, very possible. But whatever the case is, whatever went down here, you felt like you uh, were betrayed and you, 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 felt the pain of this ending and they did not want it to end they didn't want it to end but you had to take a stand somewhere and i feel like they understand that now um they they know they have to change and they will they will um they're going to come to you and we'll get to that in a minute but they're they're going to come correct to you but I, it, it may be a little bit too late right because um, there was suffering here. There was a broken heart here. There was pain here. And I don't know if you will give them a chance, but they're surely going to try. Um, I just don't feel like you want to experience this again with this person, with that Ten of Swords there. Eight of Cups. So... You were not getting what you needed out of the situation. I feel like they uh, were very selfish, right? Um, and I feel like you were left empty, right? Those cups are not fulfilled. So you just turned your back and walked away. Maybe, maybe some of you are looking over your shoulder and seeing, hey, are you watching me walk away here? Because I'm not putting up with this kind of a feeling, right? So eight of cups, this is water energy. I feel like some time has passed between the two of you. They did not act when they should have acted and and they they let you go. I think their pride got in the way. So you, in the meantime, have closed this chapter. You've gotten closure on it and I, you may be moving on to bigger and better things here. But that's not going to stop this person from um, coming back around, right? This is a cycle here. You see that? It's a cycle. They cannot get closure on this. And it's because they still feel very much drawn to you. And they know that they screwed up. So I'm going to read these two together because here's the thing here. So... What you were dealing with was a Knight of Wands energy. You could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart. But this person's soul was not settled. Um, it was inconsistent. They um, were, were hot one minute and cold the next. It was very back and forth, you know. And, I, and um, a lot of things hidden with this person, which kind of created that inconsistency. And I feel like you found out a whole lot of things and it really, really hurt you. It, it really hurt you. It devastated you. 
So now this person has to turn their back on the person that they were before. Do you see that? And they have to come through as the Knight of Pentacles. This is my coming to you correctly card. So it's been a while. It's been a while, right? So they had to go and think. They had to take some time and figure some things out and have some realizations here. So now they're going to be coming to you, Aquarius, correctly. They're going to be coming to you with sincere, grounded, stable offers. At least that's what they're going to say, right? Um, so let's see what else is going on here, Aquarius. Yeah. Could have been too many people involved. Again, that's for some of you, not all of you, especially with that Three of Swords there. But this caused you a lot of pain and a lot of tears. And, um, you know, it's... It's hard for you sometimes, Aquarius, to be vulnerable to begin with, but you let your guard down with this person and you got hurt, right? You got hurt. So it's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot for them to win you back. But, um, and like I said, some of you may be moving on to new energies, but they don't care. They're coming back to win your heart. They're coming back to take what they think is theirs. And that is you. Three of Swords, then is Air Energy. All right. So, this is for Aquarius. What else is going on with their future love? What is going on? What is going on here? Very strong connection here. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of pinnacles here. They're trying to become more of a grounded, stable person for you. All right. So we got the ace of pinnacles here. So um, they could show up, you know, with gifts, with gifts, something you can hold in your hand um, as a peace offering here. That's what I want to say. And to show you that they are for real. I feel like this is how the progression is going to go. Okay, there's going to be a message to kind of test the waters here to see if you will even talk to them. And probably a lot of you have blocked them every which way you possibly can. But if somebody wants to talk to you this bad, if somebody wants a second chance this bad, they're going to find a way to get a message to you either through other people. Maybe they send you something uh, through the mail, have something to delivered to your house. Um... And maybe they show up where you're at just to see, hey, how you doing? Was thinking about you was in the neighborhood um, if they live close by, right? So one way or another, they're going to test the waters here with this page of pentacles. And then there's going to be the delivery right here with this horse, slow, slow but steady and sincere of this offer. So initial communication to test the waters here. Some sort of, you know, offer being made clearly could be in the form of some sort of gift or a peace offering here. And then, you know, they, it's going to lead to, or it's, they're going to try to make it lead to a very sincere and stable new beginning between the two of you with that Ace of Pentacles. So they, they want you to see that they have changed. They want you to see that they're for real now. Um, I feel like they're afraid you have other options involved, and maybe you do. Um, and I feel like that is, you know, triggering um, some jealousy here, Aquarius. So, yeah, that's the progression um, that's going to happen here between you and this person. So we kind of skipped to the end there, but let's... Let's go with this. The lovers, right? So they have most definitely come to the realization that the two of you are connected spiritually. Um, your souls are connected. This is what they're thinking. They feel guided. They feel drawn to you. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini or somebody with strong Gemini in their chart. So they know that they caused a lot of pain to it, like their divine other half. That's how they're seeing this. And uh, they want to follow their heart to you. And they want you to be open to follow your heart um, towards them. 
So this person, you could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart, male or female, does not matter. This person has, um, I feel like another reason that they are so inconsistent and sometimes their behavior is a little off is because they have not been stable within themselves. They have not been confident in themselves. Um, so it's almost like they they had to go back to the drawing board and figure themselves out and then try to fix the relationship with you. So um, they're getting their courage up here, Aquarius, in order to pursue you, right? They, they see your strength and uh, they know you're not going to back down. So they know that they have to come to you with all this passion. They had to come to you with all this sincerity. They, they're not going to take no for an answer here. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries or somebody with strong Aries in their chart. They feel like, again, you are in complete control of if, you know, you're going to give them another go at this, right? Another, another round on this cycle that the two of you are on. Um, they feel like you are in complete control of their closure, to be quite honest. Um, but here with this, they, they want to show you that they have gotten themselves under control. They themselves have gotten their life under control and they are here to be grown and they are here to be your divine other half and they are here to show you loyalty, right? And protection. Um, so I feel like, again, they have put in a lot of time and energy and effort into themselves in order to go from a player type to a more stable and sincere type here. Okay. Um, so, and they've just been waiting for the right time. They probably have been waiting for you to cool off and they want to come to you more settled. And they want to show you that they're going to put time and effort and energy into the situation because they still want success here. Um, Seven of Pentacles, that's air energy. So like I said, with these last two cards, it's going to be a progression. And I'll hold it up again just to make absolutely sure here. Um, right? So there's going to be that initial communication one way or another. Um and then the delivery of the offer and the offer itself, because what they really want is a stable new beginning, right? The beginning of forever with you. And they want you to see them as changed and completely different. Um, so, you know, they, they may have, you know, very well worked on themselves and, and, you know, want to make this happen here with you. But what happened here, it was a very unbalanced situation. They were selfish. Like I said, with the seven of swords, they were very selfish. They were a taker and you're, you're not, you're too strong to put up with that. So you're standing your ground and now they have to chase you and now they have to prove themselves, right? Seven of pentacles here. They have to be completely and totally focused on you and put all their time and energy and effort into you now. Because you're, you're not doing that. These seven, very uneven situation. They know that they have to change. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with strong Scorpio in their chart. They know that they have to clear a whole lot of things up to get to that new beginning with you. They themselves have to change so that they can change the situation here with you. Right? So, Aquarius... And, and I know you guys don't like hearing about the X, but this is what the card is saying here. And they, they had to go back to the drawing board and completely, it's almost like they had to reinvent themselves. You, on the other hand, I don't know if you will accept this because there was, you know, there was a lot of pain here that this person caused you. And, you know, the more you resist them, the more they desire you. Right. The more you you've withdrawn your energy, the more they want to pursue you. So very much um, a cat and mouse game going on. And I and I feel like this person is afraid that you've moved on with somebody else. You've you've closed this chapter out um, and you're, you're moving on. And they certainly don't want you doing that. 
So, Aquarius, that is what's going on for your future love reading. We are in a Mercury retrograde, so, you know, consider this a warning, I suppose, if this isn't something you're into. Others of you may be interested in, you know, your past completely transforming themselves and coming back to you correctly. You know, just depends on your situation. All right, Aquarius, that is what's going on with you. Um, your future love. I hope you have enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Please do follow the links because there are some imposters out there. And next week, Aquarius, I'll be working on the big... Um, monthly readings so check those out and for those of you that are new to the channel welcome i do have a weekly schedule and i do have a live schedule the weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released and the live schedule i usually go live every day but saturday around noon eastern standard time all of that information can be found in the description box or in the about section of my channel you guys have a fantastic week and you take very good care of yourself and I will talk to you soon. All right, take care and God bless.